Hi, my name is Shai Williams, and today we're going to make a professional bar plot. So let's start off by making some data. So plot underscore data equals data frame, and we're going to say our values equal. We're going to have two different groups here. So I'm just going to have our norm for the first group, and we're going to have 10 people with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. And our second group is also 10 people, but with a mean of 15 and a standard deviation of 2. Perfect. So next we need to define our groups. So we're gonna do that with groups equals, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna repeat first for the first group 10 times, and then we're gonna repeat second for the second group 10 times. And all together, that should look just like this. So we have our values, and then we see that our first group are these 10 people, and our second group's these 10 people. We're going to be using two packages to plot today. We're going to use ggplot, and it's actually ggplot2. Then we're going to also use hmisc. So let's run those, and then let's start plotting. So the first thing we need to do is actually define our plot, and we do that with ggplot, and then we define our aesthetic. So x equals groups, and y equals values. So we're going to tell it what data frame to use as well, which is going to be data equals plot underscore data, which is this up here. Great. Now, if we run this, we're not going to get very much. It's just going to be a blank plot waiting for some input. So let's add some input. This is where we're going to use the hmisc package, and we're going to use stat underscore summary. And so we're going to use the function equals means. We're going to get our means. We're going to use the geom equals bar. So if we run that, what we get is a very simple bar plot. Great. There's a couple things I want to change here. Uh, the first thing is the background. It's gray and has grids. Some people like this, but I'm going to remove it here. So we're going to do that by just adding classic or a theme that is classic. So if we do that, suddenly we don't have that background anymore. Great. The other thing we can do is we notice that these bars don't actually hit the x-axis. So let's change that. So I'm going to add it here where it's going to be scale underscore y underscore continuous. And then we're going to say expand equals c0, 0. And what that's saying is expand the y-axis to the zero point. And then what we see is that that gap is now gone. Finally, I want to also color code this. Gray bars aren't very exciting anymore. So let's add uh, some fill. So these are filled with colors. So we're gonna say our fill, you see where I am up here now, we're back in the aesthetic, equals our group. So it's gonna change the colors or the fill of these bars dependent on what group they're in. So if we do that, and now we have our two colored bars. But it also gave us this legend here, and I don't really want that legend because it's redundant with my x-axis. So we're going to take the theme, and we're going to say legend position equals none. And if we do all that, we now have a professional bar plot. 